we'll set this off here. And let it cool off. Well, let's let's finish making our mix right here. Add this methanol to it. Mixing methanol and lye together creates the sodium methoxide Eugene needs to combine with the cooking oil. And when you mix these two chemicals together and add it to that fat right there, it chemically alters it and it'll turn it into biodiesel. You know, sometimes it's almost like Eugene has some antenna stuck in his head somewhere that I can't see and he's just tuning into some mad scientist, you know, like maybe Albert Einstein's out there beaming in some rays on Eugene's head or something. See, that makes an exothermic reaction. You feel it's getting hot. And the heat reaction only lasts for a short time. Well, I hope it works. Because if it doesn't work, we're going to have a stuck tractor. Making biodiesel is tough. You've got a lot of steps to this process. But the real problem is that the stakes are so high. If you put that in a piece of equipment, you can ruin it just like that. We need to scrape these crack ones out, out of here. Go ahead and scoop them out, man. The technique the boys are using to extract the pig fat is the same process mountain folks have been using for generations to make a hillbilly favorite pork rinds. I love some pork rinds and hot sauce. My great grandmother ate these all the time. She lived to be 103 years old. But I wouldn't touch these. You sure I can't eat these things? Well, I don't know if I'd try it. So basically, all I'm doing is separating the cooking oil from the fat and the skin and the cellulose and blood cells and everything else that's in that pig meat. Eugene must remove every piece of that pig other than the fat or they'll junk up the engine. After filtering out the cooking oil and heating it up on the fire, the boys are ready to add the chemicals. All right. We got to pour our methanol and lye mixture in there. See how all the crystals are gone out of it? It's all completely dissolved. Yeah, looks good. So remember, you don't want to breathe the fumes coming off of this because it can be toxic. Put the lid on there. What you gotta do is shake it. As Eugene mixes the chemicals with the fat, it creates a chemical reaction known as transesterification. I've always enjoyed playing with nature's chemistry set, and transesterification is just one of those toys in the toolbox. You want some of the pressure off of it. Now all we gotta do is let that set and let the glycerin separate out of it, or we'll have biodiesel. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. You know, I don't know about y'all, but I'm craving some pork. <laughs>